one, get a coach. Get a coach. You have to get guidance from those who have been where you are. That's what happens when we go into school. If you go into higher education, nine times out of ten, they put you with a mentor, at least if it's a good school. They're going to put you with a mentor. If you go into a job, the first thing they're going to do is they're going to give you a supervisor. Your supervisor is going to walk you through your roles and responsibilities, unless, (laughs) and this happens a lot of times, they'll give, they'll pass that on to another employee who's more seasoned than you are, and they'll say, hey, John, give Sean the ropes, teach him what he needs to do, because I'm too busy for that right now. Either way, you're going to get guidance from someone who has been where you are in order to be successful, and they navigated their way through the rough. So if you're trying to get out of your job, the best thing that you could possibly do, the best advice that I could give you is to get a coach who has worked his way out of his job. Simple. Seems like it. You know why? Because they have a recipe. There's a recipe there. They'll be able to tell you. They'll be equipped and experienced enough to tell you what to do when and what to do how. If they have done what you are trying to do, and this has to be factored in, if you can afford the number, sometimes that's what stops people from mentorship. That's, this is what stops people from growing. They're scared of the number. They're like, oh, yeah, I really want to do that, but I'd have to go into my savings. Oh, yeah, I'd really like to do that, but I'd have to stop saving. Oh, yeah, I'd love to do that, but it's going to cut into my, of course it's going to cut into your expenses. If you want a new shirt, it's going to cut into your expenses. I've been told that my packages are car payments, literally. And I say, you're right, but this is the vehicle that's going to take you where you want to go. Let that sit for a moment. You can get in the car, you can go buy a car and drive around the same block or drive yourself in a new car to your job and back. So maybe if you want uh, uh, the right vehicle, you need to make a serious investment so you can get a serious result, right? So you find someone who has done what you are trying to do, and if you can afford the number, chances are you will be able to cut what would normally take five to ten years into one to three years. You don't really... You're not fully acquainted with my story. But those who know me know, like, I was behind the eight ball at a certain point in my life, and I realized that I had to do the work of three years in one, or even better yet, the work of five in one, in order to, in three years, have 15 years of progress to show for it, which means sleep less, eat less, do more, enroll in more, invest in more, meet everyone that I possibly can as fast as I can and pay the, as much as I can so I could cut what would normally take me five to 10 years into one to three years. And let me tell you this, when talent meets opportunity, <sighs> dramatically less. When talent meets opportunity, which means When you have invested in coaching, when you have invested in mentorship, when you have invested in learning, when you have invested in education and you've just invested and invested and invested and showed up to your investment, which means that you learned and you learned and you learned with no excuses and you ate less and you slept less and you really went crazy and people looked at you like you were a, a, like you might be delusional because all you do is study, read and write. When when that talent, that kind of drive meets the opportunity like I did in COVID, more than six figures in 90 days, crickets to digits. But you've got to have faith to do that type of stuff. You've got to see something that nobody else is seeing to do that type of stuff. You've got to believe in yourself to do that type of stuff. So when I say that I was studying leadership, I was doing more than studying it. 
I was living in. So when my, what I was living, when my leadership met the opportunity to step up, people always say that overnight, they, 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 they have this term, overnight success, but they don't realize that an overnight success usually takes about 10 years in the making. Those who know me know it's no overnight success and know it didn't know well that it didn't take 90 days. It took everything that I was doing for the nine years leading up to the 90 days. <laughs> so what are you doing and what have you been doing? That's the question. What are you doing and what have you been doing? And if you don't have a coach, you're in violation of your future success. You are in violation of your future success. Your future success is right around the corner, tapping its feet.